This exercise that I have before you is to go more in detail or more in depth of what we just covered in the previous training video on effort driven and the three different task types. In other words, project has a big concern when you try to assign two or more resources to a task. By default, when you assign one resource to a task, as you recall, if the task you say it takes six days, two weeks, or in this case eight days to complete, project assumes that that one resource can accomplish it in the default duration you have set for each task. However, if you try to assign a second task or a third task, it wants to cut back because the more help you have, the less time it's going to take. Well, what time? We're going to be dealing with three different fields that all refer to time. You have the task, the duration of the task, and then you have the two fields down below tied to the resource. First of all, the resource, when are they available? Eight hours a day? Eight hours represents 100% in units. Four hours a day is 50%. Seven and a half hours a day, well, it's between 75% and 100%. I'll let you do the math. And then you also have working hours. In other words, if they're available eight hours a day, and the duration of the task is eight hours, as you see here or up here, then eight times eight equals 64 working hours. So in other words, when you try to assign somebody else to help out with this, aside from the uh, first resource assigned to it, it says because you have more help, what can we cut back on the duration of the task? Can we split the work hours between this and the uh, second resource you assign to it? Or can we just cut down the time that the resource is going to be available? Maybe the second resource, we don't change the duration or the work, we just change the percentage. Instead of this person being 100%, we split it between the two resources. This resource works part-time, four hours a day, and the second resource works four hours a day. So between the two of them, you got 100%. That's what I'm going to show you up here and go task by task. So this task, I spelled it out here, what this task will do, or the default that is set to it, down below in the split window. So you can see when it comes to writing my manual for this task, when I write a manual, I'm going to have fixed units, and it's going to be effort-driven, meaning that do not change the units. Go ahead and assign two, three, a thousand resources to help out on the task, but do not mess with the units. Every resource will be 100% giving me their full eight-hour days. But go ahead and cut back on the duration, split the working hours, and then we go to the next one, and we'll cover that as well. Now it's fixed duration. Assign as many resources as you want, it's still going to take eight days. But we can split the work or we can decrease the units. We'll let project do the math, and then if we don't like it, just because it says fixed duration doesn't mean that we can't change the duration manually, but the operative word is manual. In other words, if I go ahead and cut back, I'll have to do it manually here, but if I just go ahead and assign resources, project isn't going to cut back the duration, it'll cut back on something that's not fixed. Okay. So let's go ahead and begin with the first one here, as we just covered in the previous training video. This will be a refresher, and by default, this is what project has set up when you try to assign two or more resources to a task. So to assign a resource, we already have one assigned, and you can see it over here. Well, I have one assigned for each task here. It's the same writer. Boy, he's going to be overloaded when he has to work and start at the same time on this task, work eight hours, and then eight hours on that task. I mean, he's already over-allocated. That's for another training video. Purpose of this exercise is to see what happens when you change the task types and whether it's effort-driven or non-effort-driven. So we won't worry about overworking our writer here for now, okay? Let's go ahead and come down here. Again, I'm still looking at task one. Clicking on the drop-down arrow and assigning writer two. Now, before I go ahead and click OK, see if in your mind you can figure it out. You can go ahead and pause the video now, but let me go ahead and explain it then. When it's fixed units and I'm assigning a second resource, it wants to cut back on one of these three fields. Can't cut the units in half because it's fixed. So when I click OK, it's going to say, cut the duration in half and divide the work between the two. Because when you cut the duration in half to four days, then you're going to have 32 hours each of work. Let's click OK and see what happens. Cuts it back to four days, and it divides the 64 hours into 32 hours each. Now, when you add up 64 hours, that doesn't equal four days, does it? Well, of course not, because it assumes that both of these riders are starting at the same time. In other words, they're both going to start on Monday, and they're both working eight hours. So at the end of Monday, between the two, they have 16 hours. Then at the end of Tuesday, another 16 hours between the two until they get to 64 hours. So they get to 64 hours a lot earlier between the two of them when they're both working or starting at the same time on the task than if you just had the person here working a full 64 hours, it would take the duration of the task a lot longer. That's why the duration got cut into four days. Okay, let's go to the next one. So let's go ahead and assign another resource to this one. Click on the drop-down arrow. Let's do Writer 2. Now before I click OK, what's going to happen? 
it has to be fixed duration. In other words, it's going to take eight days no matter how many resources I assign to the task. So because it's going to be effort driven and I'm getting more help, then what, what's going to be cut in half? Is it going to be work or units? Well, let's go ahead and click OK and see what project does. So it's still going to take eight days, right? That's still 64 hours. And there you go. It's split between the two resources. This is a total of 64 hours. Now to get to 64 hours, they can't both be working eight hour days. Because if they did, what's eight times eight? That's 64 for one resource. That's not going to work because you have two of them, 64 plus 64, and you got 128 hours, and that's going to go way past the duration of eight days. So what it did instead is it said, let's go ahead and split the work between the two, but cut back on their availability for that day. Instead of a full eight hours, they're available four hours a day. So four hours that this resource is available, Rider One, four hours, four hours a day times eight days, he's going to put in 32 hours of work. So his 32 hours of work plus his 32 hours of work equals 64 hours of work, and that's a total of eight hours between the both of them, but they're only working part-time. You could say in shifts, or you know, one comes in for four hours, eight to noon in the morning, the other one comes in to one to five in the afternoon, or maybe they both come at 8 to noon at the same time, but they're both putting in 4 hours, so that's an 8-hour day. 8-hour days between the two times the duration of 8 days is still 64 hours, and again, 64 hours between the two of them is the work. Okay, next, fix work effort driven. So let me come down here and assign our second resource. Okay, what do you think is going to happen when I click OK? Well, the very least we know that it's got to be fixed work. The work can't change. It's going to be 64 hours. So when I click OK, when it's fixed work, you can go, wait a second, I thought it was going to be 64 hours. It is, between the two. The work is always 64 hours, even though, like I said, it's split between the two. And it cuts back on the duration, going from eight days down to four. So if you go ahead and you assign somebody else a third resource to this, it'll divide the 64 hours because it's still 64 hours of work that needs to be completed for this task. So maybe that doesn't help too much in understanding this because it seems a lot like fixed units, right? Well, let me do this. Let me go ahead and manually come in and change this to, oh, let's go out to 10 days and click OK. Notice, is it still 64 hours of work? Yes, it's fixed work. So what it did is it said, fine, go ahead and have your 10 days. But it can still only be 64 hours of work between the two of them. So for over 10 days, each of them is going to be working less than four hours a day. Well, a little bit more than three, but less than four. Anyways, you can do the math on that. So perhaps it's not clear just by going ahead and assigning resources to it. But when you start making changes to the duration or something that's not fixed, like work, then it should start making sense. Let me go ahead and hit undo. Now, just because it says fixed work doesn't mean I can't come down in here and make changes to it and click OK. Now the work isn't fixed anymore, is it? Again, this is projects saying, by default, when you assign a task, I'm not going to mess with the work. You can mess with it, but I'm not. I'm just going to work with these two other fields, okay? Let me go ahead and hit undo and finish this up. Now, these tasks are not effort driven, so I can assign as many resources as I want to these. And guess what's not going to happen when I click OK is it's not going to be cut in half the duration or the work. So now it's like eight days for one person. They're 100%. Eight times eight is 64. There's another eight times eight is 64. So now I got 128 hours between the two in eight days. When it's not effort driven, just know the project's not going to mess with your duration. But if you decide to mess with it when it's not effort driven, again, it's fixed units. If you don't mess with the fixed units and you mess with these other fields, let's cut back on the uh, duration and click OK. It's going to make up that time in the amount of work that's going to be split between the two of you. Okay. Again, it's not going to change the units. So we have 80 hours of work. If I hit undo, we're back to 128 hours of work. And again, that's me with messing with the duration and the work, not the units. So if I mess with these two fields, project will compensate between the two. If I go with duration, it'll compensate with the work. If I go with work, it'll compensate with duration. But if I go with the units, even though it's fixed, it's not going to compensate because project says, fine, I give up, you do what you want then. Okay. In other words, it's trying to control one field for you as you mess with the other. But if you go to that controlled field or that fixed field and you mess it, then it says, look, I'm out of here. You're on your own. You can do what you want. Trying to help you by locking down other fields. So the final one here would be fixed duration and not effort driven. So again, let's get our second resource. Nothing's going to change here because it's not effort driven. You just click OK. 
Now instead of the fixed unit fields being fixed, you're saying, um, I don't want the duration to be messed with, so this is a reminder, I'm not going to mess with it. So if I go ahead and I say, uh, look, Rider 1, you're not going to be working 64 hours. When I cut back on the work here, it shouldn't change the duration. Come down here, cut back on the work here, click OK. The duration is always going to be 8 days. So because it wants to keep it at 8 days, it's going to compensate when you drop your work by changing the amount of hours you're available that day. This one's available about seven and a half. This one's more like maybe 7.1. In any case, getting close to cutting them back, getting them down to about six hours a day. So in summary, every time you assign a resource, if you always feel it's going to cut the uh, work in half, then go ahead and use the defaults effort driven. If it's not going to cut the work in half, then uncheck effort driven and then make your own calculations. Well, we assigned somebody else to help with this. They're not as fast as Rider 1. Rider 2 is pretty slow, so I know he's not going to be able to cut through this as quickly, so it won't cut the uh, duration in half. So well, let me go ahead and uncheck Effort Driven, and then go ahead and say it'll always be 8 days, and then mess with the, the work in the units. And those will be updated and changed, of course, depending upon what field you change. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.